Thank you so much for those really thoughtful uh, and thought-provoking observations. Uh, and it should be noted that the Irvine 11 patterned their tactics very consciously after the, the tactics of the civil rights movement of the 60s in this country and of Martin Luther King, who wore his convictions for acts of civil disobedience as badges of honor. And ultimately, whether, they are conviction, whether their convictions are upheld or reversed on appeal, the real impact to be made here is, do we stand in solidarity with our brothers, the Irvine 11, and their acts of conscience, or do we not? And if we stand in solidarity and show our strength in solidarity with them, they will have won, win or lose the criminal case, and that will be what's remembered and what's significant about their case. And we ask you all to stand in solidarity. This event was co-sponsored by groups that are not only Muslim groups, but also Christian groups and Jewish group. And that's the message that we bring to you in coming to campus. And hopefully this will provide an occasion for demonstrations of solidarity, as well as financial support if you're able, because they have, uh, they're looking at $60,000 in anticipated costs of their appeal, and that does not include any legal fees. The legal work was done free of charge. They have already incurred $100,000 in out-of-pocket costs for the trial. They're looking at $160,000 worth of costs. So if you're able, um, please do contribute, and uh, you can give your contributions either to, to uh, Usama or to me. Uh, if you have a check and you want to uh, make it payable, just make it payable to Irvine 11. It's tax deductible.